Happy February! Uh oh. And your mom is giving what it means to gay, baby. Okay. <laughs> yes. No, of course! Actual part. The. That the. 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 Uh. Plural. And that you won an Emmy and that it's your birthday. That's a lot. That's true. <laughs> Crazy how something so small can change everything. Miss Teresa and I have a long history. She was my media teacher when I was 15. So I'm 26 now. Oh, oh. Miss Teresa, you made the vlog. <laughs> for food and wine tasting and stuff. So I'm finna finish showing y'all my outfit though. When you don't know what to wear, just put on black. Cause I literally did not think about no outfit. This body still for Fashion Nova, jeans and Fashion Nova, sharp boots from Akira. This is the coat, yo. I wish I had like a cute little scarf. I think I do, let me see. Cause if I do, I'm putting it on. Like a cute little scarf. That'll be the gift. Hey! Good! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's been 27 years. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy February! Uh -oh. Uh, this is my first time seeing Tarvin like two years. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Trade the travel girl. Next up in this vlog, y'all, is to get these nail fixed. So, hey, y'all. Let's go get these nails done.
up the mess Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest She'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader. Hey y'all! It's me, Kira D And I'm back with another video Hey, Video Okay y'all, so literally have not spoken to y'all for real like barely spoken to y'all since i started this vlog but y'all already know what's going on by the title what this vlog will consist of just showing more of kira D's daily weekly monthly life and i hope y'all are enjoying the ride this consistency you know i'm gonna try to keep this up. also y'all i'm going into the lab today today we have an interview scheduled with Corinne Hawthorne. Today is February 9th, y'all. She just dropped a new album today. And y'all know that I'm going to take y'all with me as much as I can. It's going to be a very busy work day. And even after that, because I'm working on a special media project. But I won't speak on it too much. But just know that Jakira is working. I am working in this media. I'm trying to really take my content seriously. Take my personal work seriously when people ask me to do stuff because a few been coming out the doors like hey can you edit this with me can you do this with me can you do this so i'm trying to really perfect my craft so i think i didn't miss anything y'all saw how my week been going this far and we're just gonna keep it rolling because we're not doing all that talking okay so stay tuned i'm gonna vlog as much as i can it's a busy day but we gonna see What would happen if you paused on all the action? Quit the stress and need no caption. Give your Instagram vacation. Yeah, work on your patience. Yeah, what you ain't facing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cause oh, I love some music, but oh, I just can't do it. So I took a little break on the. Happy. Oh, I didn't know you were here. I thought you were out of town. I thought you were in New York. Yeah, I saw her shoes. I said, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just to prep you, well, first, congratulations on reaching number one. I saw that and period. Yes. So the first segment is a quick question segment so like really fun questions not really getting into the album or the music just yet One. <laughs> so as you're reading the comment kind of look at the camera and okay yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking again. <laughs> <laughs> and keep holding her. I love it. I love it. And your mom is giving what it means to gay baby. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was looking at it the whole time. Like, dang. Thank you. Of course. It was so good talking to you. You should get in the middle. You're the star. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a record. Girl, you want me to like coordinate the special? You know it. Okay, thank you. But I'll send you like his or his. Yeah, send it in. He's Yeah, you got rap career you got. Oh. Uh oh. I don't really got no rap career. I be just Rock talking to him, you know. Hey. 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 Yo, 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 yo. Where you at, hey, YouTube. Oh, yo, period. Yo. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. 
Y'all about to go. Colin left already. Raul left already. Just say bye. See y'all. He helped us out. Bye. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Thank you, Jakira. Thank you. 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 Thank Tell them. What you doing? Subscribe. Yeah, Period. What you doing? Period. Wow. Let me get out of this parking. Let me get lock my doors first. But let me get out of this parking lot because this is my problem. I'm always trying to sit down and talk and I need to be getting to go. It is 6 42, y'all. I've been at I've been up and at work since 9 o'clock basically. And um it was a good day. Um it doesn't it does not feel like work when you do what you love like i literally was in production mode producer mode director mode all day today um and then other days like when i'm at home i'm mostly editing or social media marketing throughout the day but that's literally what i do y'all and i probably didn't even give y'all a good enough video but i was in my element in my moment sometimes after my work days i always dwell on like what i feel like i could have done better and I also have to realize that people probably don't even see what I feel like I messed up on. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, give yourself some grace. You are doing amazing things and you continue to well, continue to do amazing things. So, and that's what I'm trying to move forward with doing, y'all. My hair been hurting all day. Nobody probably could tell that. I pushed through. I had like a 30, 40 minute interview. 35, 40 minute interview with Corinne talked to my peeps for just about that same time probably a little bit long because it was four interviews i did not show y'all all of that but it was really good and yeah so i'll see y'all tomorrow probably i'm about to go home and prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow i'll be vlogging too and i'll tell y'all what i'm doing tomorrow that's the real reason why i got my hair done by the way because of this party tomorrow but everything just lined up like this you know so it's me Kara D it is the next day it is Saturday February 10th um don't say that about my hair because yeah I'm not flat on it until I go I need to go later but right now y'all I'm about to go try to get my toes done I usually make an appointment and hopefully it's not crowded I should have been at the door at 9 30 it's like 9 15 almost 9 30 so I need to be heading out but I need to go get my toes done because also I'm going to my mentors birthday party slash Emmy award winning watch party so it's gonna be all that type of stuff but right now I need to go see my girl Kim Kim is the only person that can do my toes fun fact a few years ago if y'all remember i went through a very traumatic experience one of these nail chops messed up my toe i had to go surgery it was just like really bad like it put me in a really bad um depressive state like mentally like i was dealing with anxiety and everything if y'all go back a few videos a few vlogs a few life updates y'all want to know about that point in my life because i've been through some traumatic stuff and I literally did not trust nobody to do my toes. I think I went like a whole year without getting my toes like done. Like I used to do it myself because I just didn't trust people and my toe was still healing from the surgery and stuff like that. Guess like. But yeah y'all, this is me rambling and we're not doing that. Oops. And we're not doing that. But yeah, so I need to flat iron my hair because this is a little bad. But come on y'all, we finna go to the nail shop. I guess hopefully it's not a long wait, but we gonna see. Okay. I usually do white, and for the first time in November, I do black. I don't want to be pink. Yeah, I came from getting my toes done. And I stopped by Raven and Mikhail's love weekend. That's what I can't say. She's so extra. I just interrupted a little bit because I was on the phone with Raven early. And she was in the grocery store. I said, oh, I want one. And she made me one. Yeah. Y'all want to say hey to the vlog? Yeah. Hey, vloggy, vloggy, vlog. Hey, vlog. She, she gets down. She don't play. I don't play. You got yeah. cheese. Bacon, egg, and, I mean, not bacon, ooh, turkey sausage. 
I told him, let's do leftovers from yesterday. She wants to cook <laughs> I don't know if I'm starving or Raven gets down. She's no, no, play. no, I get down. <laughs> you ain't that hungry. Ooh, y'all, yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. I get a bigger phone than you. Mm. Did you do go? I'm literally, like, this is so it's good. It's good? Mm-hmm. You know, I learned from the best. This do go right here. She's packing my head up. Um, she really did. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the way you ate mine and your sandwich, I know you ain't talking. Ooh, wee. Mm. Oh, it sounds like that. <laughs> um, can you tie the pieces? You doing a sauce like that? Hey, vlog. Um, it's been a minute since y'all see me. I've pretty much been in the house, chilling, sleep, recording, making TikToks all day, and then of course getting ready for this party that I briefly told y'all about. She invited me to her birthday party, of course. She also wants me to be the person like over the Q&A, so like the host person, they're like moderator, I guess that's the right word. Congratulations, Miss Teresa, if you're watching this on winning your Emmy girl, and she's having a watch party, so we're gonna watch it together and then celebrate for her birthday, for food, and whatever, but there also will be a Q&A segment where I will be leaving it. The dress is from Pretty little thing. It's a blazer dress. Um, a shapewear dress under here too. It's from Fashion Nova, I think. Or she in one of the two. And then my heels are from Amazon years ago. And so are my bedazzled fishnets. My earrings, probably she in. My dress, my necklace from Amazon. I don't know what purse I'm gonna put on, but I need to figure it out soon and pack up my purse so I can head out. Okay, y'all, I made it to the party. I'm about to go inside. It's 6.13, so I made it right on time. Um, I have to put my shoes on, though, and then I'm gonna take my Crocs in. She said that the movie, I mean, that the watch, that the actual part, the, that the, 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 uh. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Girl, what? What she won the Emmy for, is starting to play at 6 15 so technically i guess the party started 15 minutes ago but i'm still good on time but then let me put these shoes on and i'll see y'all when i get inside Hello, <laughs> you told them that you're my mentor and that you want an emmy and that it's your birthday that's a lot that's true <laughs> period oh, no, no. period i'm just saying some of you guys i haven't seen in like years so you guys are making me kind of emotional oh, um, girl. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's one thing to invite people to a party, but to have them actually come up and show out for you, it's really, it's, it's heartwarming. <laughs> um, so just a brief introduction. So most of you guys know I do independent filmmaking. I've been blessed enough to work with WCW as a freelancer for the last three years. Every year they do a series called First Hand where they tackle a different subject. This particular year it was called Life After Prison. So I had the unique opportunity to drive down to Kiwani, Illinois, and follow a man who had been in prison for at least two decades and on his journey into coming home. So this is the film, and afterwards, I kind of sit down and answer any questions you guys may have. Again, thank you guys for coming. It's crazy how something so small can change everything. You know, you look back, 24 years is a long time. 8,000 days is a long time. During this time, you see so many people who didn't make it or who lost family members. And so it's like, you get close and then you just like, biting your nails. You want to be happy, but it's like, uh, I'll be happy when I finally walk out the gate. My name is Jakira. Miss Teresa and I have a long history. Um, she was my media teacher when I was 15. So I'm 26 now. So that's how long I've known her. Well, it's my birthday, so you don't know how old she is. <laughs> so 
we're going to get started, but let's give another round of applause for this amazing film. It's Teresa White. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're going to start with three questions, and then we're going to open the floor to everybody else. So if y'all have questions. So the first question is, how did you get involved with this project? So two years ago, um, I knew one of the producers for the project, and she brought me on. And then the next year, they just kept asking me to come back. And the producer of this project is actually in the building, Mr. Mario. He's back there somewhere. <laughs> um, and so he oversaw the entire series, and he assigned Nicholas' story to me. How did you prepare for an experience such as this? Okay, good question. Well, first, I asked my husband. I was like, are you going to be okay with me going down to an unknown town? I had, I had never heard of Kewanee, Illinois, and going to a prison, an all-male prison. He was fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> and the last final question before we open it up to y'all is, was there anything about this that really surprised you? I think the thing that surprised me the most was Nick's reaction. I mean, whenever you're telling someone else a story, it's... To me, it's a little, I think the, the only anxiety I have is that you're telling someone else's story. And once it's out there, it's out there, you can't take it back. So you want to tell it accurately, and you want to tell it you know, with empathy. So it's making him like feel better about, you know, I did what I did, but I'm moving forward. I love that, I really love that. <laughs> and congratulations again, and the film is amazing. <laughs> okay, so does anyone have questions? <laughs> I'm actually in a parking lot. I didn't stop doing this. I need to just go ahead and start heading home. But I am covered. I am safe. I'm about to head to home. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I should have just packed some clothes and stayed at my mom's house because I'm really close to my mom's house. But now I gotta go all the way to the suburbs and then come all the way back out here for Sunday school at 8:30. But yeah, y'all. I wanted to show y'all some of the pictures that we took. We took a lot of pictures. See the pictures? I'll show y'all another time because y'all can't really see with the light. I always put the link to the film in my description box so y'all can watch it because it was really good. Um, it deserved an Emmy for sure. And I'm so proud to be able to call her my mentor. And I ran into a lot of people um, from the organization that I was a part of, the media group that I met her in back in high school. Obviously, the people that I encountered they were never in my program when I was there they were either like older or worked with Miss Teresa and they would see me and one of the ladies told me she was like I just remember you so much like I cannot believe that this is you like when we came to visit your program every time I thought about FSM News South I always thought about you like you were the spotlight I'm just like I left that much of an impression that she said I was the spotlight of the FSM South crew members like and look at me now, like I'm still in media, so crazy how things are full circle for sure. But okay, I'm about to go home. It's 9.30 now. I could have been left like at 9 o'clock exactly, but I was just lingering around Miss Teresa, taking pictures, making sure she had everything that she needed. Obviously, I didn't vlog all of that, but it was a good time. I didn't even vlog the food for y'all either, but it was some jerk chicken, some sweet potatoes, and macaroni, and some bread. So I'll show y'all. I'll probably put pictures of the screen or like my TikTok at the end of this clip because I'm about to go home and I'll see y'all Good morning y'all. So today is Sunday. I had a really good night last night. I kind of recapped y'all a little bit so we're not going to talk too much about that. But today is Sunday. I need to be heading out to go to Sunday school because Sunday school starts at 8.30. Y'all know that. And today is at a coffee shop this time. Another coffee shop. Not at Fort Joe's. It's at Aaron's coffee shop. It's another black owned coffee shop. Um, my Sunday school teacher loves coffee and she loves black people so when she got all the coffee shops of black owned people you probably can bet that we're gonna have Sunday school there anyway so I woke up this morning and I got a text message from my mentor y'all know I went to her party yesterday and she was like Kira D I am so proud of you you were so professional and such a personality you are a very talented and outspoken 
sometimes loud she's just talking about my personality in general but i also know that you are a bit shy so to see you lead the discussion was awesome i didn't want anyone else but you up there and you delivered thanks to you what a rare heart and that just like it's kind of like reaffirming because a lot of people have been reaching out to me about like editing stuff for them recording stuff for them or just like you know noticing the good work that i do or like leading a q a segment like being a moderator so i'm just like girl this is what you're talented to add be confident in your gift and use the gift that the lord gave you he put you on this earth to be that girl in media and personality and journalism and everything and creating content so that's what i'm doing y'all so i hope y'all enjoying this ride and i'm really trying to be as consistent as possible and i hope y'all are enjoying it so i was briefly showing y'all these pictures i want to show y'all look look at my pictures this one is me and my mentor. And then this is one of just me, me, Kelsey, and Miss Elizabeth. All three of us were in three different free spirit media programs. But okay, y'all, I gotta go because I'm running late. And to my friends, anybody watching this, don't say nothing. They're like, that's why you be late to Sunday school. You just, you know. But I'm t I don't know, y'all. Like, I've been waking up at 6 a.m. every, every day this week. But today, I woke up at 7 o'clock. I don't know. But I think that's probably why I slept so long because I've been waking up so early this whole week. But yeah, let me try to get to Sunday school. So, but oh, let me do my, I need to do my perfume of the day. I'm putting on Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Here it is. So, that Lancome lasts all night though. And I got back in the house at 10 o'clock and I sprayed it like around five. It was still going, it was still strong. Okay, y'all, quick uh, OCD before I head out. I was just telling Raven, like, I need to find me a spot that I can film at. I'm gonna have to switch my room around because I don't feel like I have an area that's like cute. But okay, so black long sleeve top, jeans for fashion over. Oh, why did I just pull my leg up like that? Knee high boots, and then I don't know where this leather jacket is from, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go to church, guys. Y'all, I'm not gonna make this in this school till 8.45. That's 15 minutes late. But that's not bad, though. Hey, Bob. Y'all, I'm gonna kill this in this school, too, by the way, y'all. <laughs> hey, how you snitching? <laughs> Woo! Crazy. It's okay. We gonna be there. Yo, man, I just want to watch your vlog this morning. You said you gonna do better because you was late last time. You said you gonna do better. <laughs> This ain't doing better. You can't talk because you were the same predicament. <laughs> <laughs> you was in the same predicament. I'm weak. But okay, right, I'll see you when you get there. Me. Huh? Alright. We both trying to get off the phone. I said, I said I'm right before you did. <laughs> I'm dead. Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny yeah. No longer blinded I can feel Is it blessing? Is it blessing you? Or is it different? Oh, I didn't even mean it. Yes, I would have so take the verse off the seat Hey, love. How y'all doing today? We're here at Eric's Club. Oh, okay. She's actually here right now, y'all. She she came in. I came in. She was like, "Good morning." I'm like, "Oh, thanks." Reminiscing of you. I'm just kidding. Did she really just say? Okay. Hey, y'all. Y'all ready? So this is Miss Erin, everybody. What's up, y'all? So I wanted to get on here and let y'all know that church was good. And we got out pretty early, so I was like, I'm going to go to another service. I'm going to fellowship. I have a friend who sings in the choir there, and they have 1 p.m. services. But y'all know that because I went to fellowship on my vlog before. So I'm about to go there and get some more word and then go to my auntie house. I was supposed to go cook the macaroni at my auntie house today, but I was like, auntie, I'm going to the second service, so you can just cook the macaroni and we can figure out another day to do the cooking once a month. I know it's supposed to be today, but I want to go to church. So, that's what I'm going to do. Made it to fellowship, y'all. Yeah. I always have a good time. Yeah. 
told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm. Hey, queen! Made it to my auntie house, look who here. Uh, leaving my auntie house with with big plates food for the week okay do you hear me i left me um super bowl because i really just wanted to watch the halftime show so i'm about to go home and do something productive but i do have a busy weekend next week i'm going to the auto show i'm going to brunch so i might have like another weekend vlog coming as well next weekend i'm going to end the vlog here i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog it's me Kara d and i'm out i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all